Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rich H Hunt. Bag of two pounds here, you know where we stand with the book. So we'll just crack on with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the weekend, birthday weekend. Don't forget about the giveaway around right that. Um, so as from today, I'm going to give the two pounds two weeks. And um, if we don't find the Northern Ireland by then, we'll start book 4A. So we'll start filling the back of the book, basically. Right, first bag then. Right, let's see if we can find anything nice today. Is that one at the bottom? Because I know that's kind of uh, Technologies, I'll check at the end of the hunt. Oh, Shakespeare's comedies. Uh, we'll check all the technologies after the hunt. Oh, another Shakespeare's comedies. And a Lord Kitchener. It says two pounds, so it's not a Mulera, sadly. Right, yes. Um, I will check all the technologies when I finish the hunt for any rotation, double dies, or other errors I might be able to spot. And let you. Oh! Commonwealth Games Scotland. Not the one we need, but still an absolutely stunning coin to find. Especially this early on in the hunt. Wish I'd started book four now. <laughs> there we are. Um, yeah, totally lost the thread of what I was going to say now. But there we are. Uh, Brunel's achievements, the arches at Pendant Station. What have we got here? The First World War Army Centenary. Um, oh, yes. The weekend. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed recording it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was good fun. Um, there's the um, Shakespeare's Tragedies. Piece of work is a man, so that is the correct edge inscription. So there we go. We can go that. Apologies again for when I start talking, I find a coin DNA for showing the flotilla. I wasn't going to, but these things happen sometimes. I just got carried away. I could have cut it out, but nah, I thought less upset everyone in the northeast. Why not? First bag. Charles Dickens. Go there for now. And another Brunel achievement. Another tragedies, correct edge inscription. Nothing else, sir. Nothing there. Hmm. 
Not the best. There's Brunel the man. Oh, I sort of too long. Another pass. And another. Active union there. No rotation error. Marconi, wireless transmissions. No, it's okay. I thought it was a dodgy one for a minute. It was just a bit beaten up. Or at least I think it was just a bit beaten up. I'll find out when I take it back to the bank. <laughs> Very shiny 2015, no rotation there. And Golden Guinea. That one down there, theoretically, above face value. I don't keep all the guineas I find, if I'm honest. Again. Well, I do keep if it's in nice condition, but I have a fair few put away. Won't be long now. Uh, there's another Brunel the Man. And a Florence Nightingale. And an 1807. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags left. Another Dickens. No history yet. Hmm. No St. Paul's either. Even stranger. Not the best. Ah, there we go. Shakespeare's histories. Another active union there. All good. And there it is St. Paul's. There we are. Let's call that into the hand now.
Oh, underground brown bell. That one is a definite keeper. Another Act of Union. No rotation on that one either. An ultimate bag. Another Brunel, the man. And on to the final bag. Twenty fourteen. Mary Rose. Oh dear. Why didn't I start the new book today? Hey ho. <laughs> and that is it. Well, it turned out alright in the end, didn't it? Well, well. Especially after finding that uh, Scotland so early on. But uh, another two nice additions there as well to the uh, wider collection. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gutted I didn't start the new book. Or oh, the backup book, the new backup book. But, well, you live and learn, I suppose. Nice bottom roll, that, isn't it? Nothing to argue about there. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you all on the next hunt. Bye for now.